guys, so today I'm going to talk to you all about face sculpting. Now, face sculpting has become really popular, it's become something that people are using now on a daily basis. Um, I don't think it's something that people have really used since the 80s, but it's really come back in a really big way. Probably helped by people like J.Lo, who sculpt their cheeks, put highlighter down their nose, and the Kardashians, um, Kim Kardashian especially, who really structures her face with highlighters, um, hollows out her cheekbones, uh, her eyelids, etc, etc. Um, so I think this is something that people are copying quite a lot. Uh, now, in my opinion, there's only a few really good products uh, to use on the market for face sculpting. So I'm going to go through those with you today. So, first up, which has been one of the best products that's come out in recent years for face sculpting, is this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate product. It is, this one is Intensity 1, so I take it that it comes in different shades. Anyway, this looks like a scary product. It's not a powder, it is a cream. Uh, let me show you. So basically, this looks brown, but when you look at the uh, when you look at the dark areas of your face, it's actually the colour of shadow. So it's no use people sculpting with blusher. Do not do that because you'll look like you a throwback from the 80s and that's not a good look. So if you look at this, okay, it looks scary, looks a little bit scary, but when you apply it, it's very sheer and quite subtle. It also has a slight sheen to it, so it's not going to, it sort of mimics the skin's texture. So, and then this bit here is for illuminating. This bit is to illuminate the areas that come out. Basically, the score with sculpting is that you darken the areas that go back and you lighten the areas that come that you want to come out. So, let me have a little go with this. Basically, Tom Ford is king of sort of sexiness and facial sculpting. If you look at his campaigns, uh, his fashion campaigns especially, you'll see that the girls are, their lips are lacquered, their cheekbones are sculpted, they look like real sort of sirens. So this is a real, this is a real thing for him. Um, so the idea is to put it below your cheekbones, just a bit, not loads. I haven't put much makeup on so you can sort of see. Now, can you see that there's a slight difference there? I'm only going to do one cheek because then I'm going to use another product on the other cheek. And then you guys can tell me what you think is best. So, I'm going to look straight on at you there and you can tell me what you think, if that helps. Um, and then, let me wipe my hand. And then this product here is a very sheer highlighter that you apply to the tops of, your, say, your cheekbones that add sheen and sort of brightness to your cheekbones to make them look like they come out. Uh, makeup artists often use highlighter on areas like the tops of the eyebrow to make that look like it pops and also often here. Um, people like JLo and Kim Kardashian use it down their nose. So this is quite an easy product to use even though it looks kind of scary. It it really isn't. Now this product, um, I think it's great for the cheekbones and also brilliant for um, use as a eyeshadow as well. Because if you want a look that's kind of sculpting but that's natural sculpting, I would use the same colour under your cheekbones as you would on your eyelids because then your face becomes one uniform colour and your sculpting then looks as natural as possible. So if you see that there, it all looks like it comes out of the same colour palette, if you see what I mean. So, I've done that. Okay, another amazing product by the lady who knows is Charlotte Tilbury, mega makeup artist Charlotte Tilbury, who, as we all know, has brought out this incredible range. This, her packaging also is amazing. Uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow, it came in this. And... Then inside it comes with this, it's just beautiful. This says, this is a secret that silver screen sirens have kept to themselves for years. So, and then inside we've got some directions. Highlight, apply the highlighter on the tops of cheekbones, down the centre of the nose, or the bow of the lips, and the brow bone to give you candle lit skin. Just as I said. Apply the bronzer to the areas you want to sculpt and define using a brush. Your cheek hollows, sides and tip of your nose, jawline and temples, Never forget to blend. 
So this is a beautiful product that looks like it's something out of the 1920s, I think. Now, this doesn't look quite as scary, um, but this is a highlighting powder here with sort of shimmering particles. And this one here is more matte, but it's not totally matte. I can see a very, very, very slight hint of sheen there as well, which it needs to because your skin has a slight hint of sheen. Okay, I'm going to use this brush here, which is by Japanesque. It's number 324 and it's perfect size for sort of getting into your cheekbones, under your chin, etc. So I'm going to do a bit of a sculpt here. So it's a bit of a warmer shade than the Tom Ford one. Um, yes, if you have any products that you love, that you use for sculpting, please let me know. I am really, really love to hear all your recommendations and just write them in the comments below. So I'm going to put it under here. I'm not going to put it on the other eye. All right, you tell me. Um, she said here and then down the sides of the nose and the tip of the nose. I guess it depends what shape your face is, um, depending on what you do with it. So I guess if you think you have a wide nose, then you might put this down the sides of your nose. Um, highlighter, let me get rid of that. Highlighter is... Again, a powder, very easy to use. Place it on the tops of there, perhaps my chin, and there you go. Little bit of sculpting. Okay, and another product um, I love, and I think I've mentioned it before, is this by a new brand called Studio 10. I think that's a great colour because that, to me, is very much the colour of shadow. Uh, I don't want to apply too much more, otherwise literally going to be sculpted within an inch of my life um, but it also comes with a blusher here because I think you do need a hint of blush otherwise you can look a bit dead whilst it looks really pink in the packaging you can you don't have to use much you can just use a tiny touch of it um, and then again that's a highlighter there um, it is quite pink hopefully I don't look too sunburnt um, Again, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this to. I've seen makeup artists use uh, the colour of sort of shadow to hollow out the eyes and define the eyes. Um, and I was given a great tip by a makeup artist recently, which was to create a very soft, smoky eye, a more natural, smoky eye. Use your bronzer to blend a brown pencil instead of using just a dark brown pencil or a black coal or something. And it creates a much more subtle smoky eye. Um, it looks much more natural. That's that. Um, yeah, so hopefully I don't look too sculpted, but I guess it has defined my face a bit. But those are my favourite products for sculpting. Oh, one last thing. Hourglass. They do this fantastic palette. It's called Ambient. And this one is, has the colours dim light, incandescent light and radiant light and it's all about creating a sort of candlelit glow and I just think these are amazing they highlight your face beautifully without creating too much shimmer um, and I met the owner recently of Hourglass and she was wearing it and I was literally mesmerized by the sort of glowing quality of her skin and she said that basically it was this palette so when it comes to sculpting and highlighting, I think this is also an essential buy. It just basically makes us all look a bit better. So thank you for watching everybody and I'll be back next week where I'm going to do a vlog all about eyebrows. Thanks a lot and see you soon.